Good morning all, hope, hope you all had a good uh, good New Year's and Christmas with friends and family. So the last row is just headed on down to the paddock. I got a bit of a walk so I'll move the calves while, um, while I'm following them down. And the, the filter, milk filter sock was filled with mastitis yesterday so just check it today. I did find the cow yesterday so that didn't go in the vet today. Um, so see what it looks like, Dad will, Dad will change it soon. Let's go have a look. So that's not good. Um, there must be another cow with mastitis somewhere. It's a job for tomorrow morning to try and pick that one up. Christmas plums, so good. Mmm, yum, nice and sweet. A bit of bricky. And juicy. That's a lot of mastitis on the filter. I thought it was uh, cream to start off with. It does get like that when the when the milk solid percentage is real high and the and the milk's real creamy. Um, but yeah, that's a heck of a lot of mastitis. So I'm gonna try and find it tomorrow. Dad's gonna give me a hand of milk. Well I need to find it and treat it. That's uh it's pretty obvious but um, dad's gonna give me a hand tomorrow to milk and I'm just gonna strip everything or strip all the cows until I find it um, I could I could have a look at the filter um, when we change herds and we'll see what it looks like after his herd um, but we're presuming it's in mine so we'll start there and if we, we don't find it tomorrow then we might strip all of his cows um, we'll, we'll pick it up eventually but we want to get it sooner rather than later and treat it so um, I just got the results back for our milk test yesterday and, and the cell count is at, or somatic cell count is at 260,000 so it is a little high, we were sitting at about 180, uh, 190 so it has jumped up. Um, we have got a little bit of a leeway, you don't get a demerit point until you get to 400 so, or over 400 so uh, we don't want to go there, we don't want any demerits, we don't usually get many, I think we had two last year because of our cell count. Um, and none the year before, or the year before that either. Come on again, come on! Morning guys and welcome back. I'm just taking the cows up to the shed. It's just a bit after six, it might be 20 past six. Um, crisis a bit diverted too. I, uh, I left that gate open yesterday after shifting the calves and luckily the cows didn't walk in there. Uh, really lucky, so that's good. Um, yep, so we're gonna find that mastitis cow today. I hope, hopefully it's at the start, not at the end, but um, chances are it'll probably be at the back. 
Um, and we also got 10 mils of rain last night, a bit of a, so um, that was good as well. We had five mils um, in the morning, and then another five and a bit of a downpour last night, which was awesome, so much needed. As you can see, the ground's uh, a little bit wet. And behind me in this paddock below the maze, um, you can see the brown spot, so it sort of was starting to dry out, so uh, any rain in summer from January onwards is, is uh, much appreciated, so hopefully uh, we might get a little bit more today, it is supposed to rain again, so we'll see what happens, we might get a little bit more, well I don't know, maybe we won't get anything, but uh, another 10 or 15 mils would be, uh, would be perfect, but right, we're going to find this cow, see you in the shed. So, uh, these are the last of the first herd here and they're pretty much finished milking so we're just going to check the filter sock and see if there's any mastitis on it. Um, and if there's not then it's definitely in my herd, which we think it is, so this is what happens. Yep, so there might have been a little bit of mastitis, but nothing like there was yesterday. Um, so we're going to strip all these cows and hopefully find it sooner rather than later. What I meant by stripping the cows, Dad's just doing it now. So we're just checking each each quarter to see uh, to see what they look like. So they should be nice and white and milky. Like this, maybe. So you can just tell on the concrete here, nice and white, so those quarters are fine. So you're looking for lumpy stuff. Um, yeah, and you're looking for off-coloured, so it'll be a little bit um, yellower. Um, and it won't be that white colour, obviously, but um, it'll, I think this one will be real lumpy. So that's what we're looking for. Dad's doing the left side, I'm doing the right side. Uh, might take a little bit longer, but that's alright, we need to find it, so... Um, hopefully soon, but we both think it'll be at the end, but time will tell. Come on! Come on girls! where an uh, automatic backing gate would come in quite handy. So I'm just waiting for the last row to milk out, but um, things didn't quite go to plan. We didn't find the cow with it. Uh, so what do we do now? We're gonna check the filter again, see what it's like after my cows went through it. Um, we did find one cow that had a little bit, it wasn't a heat, we didn't think it would be um, a cow that put it on the filter yesterday. So we've marked it, gonna have a look tomorrow. Um, I might treat it. Um, yeah, just keep an eye on it really, and maybe we'll have to check Dad's herd now and and, uh, and try and find it in there, so um, things don't always go to plan, but that's farming.
that's good. So the filter's pretty clean. Uh, so that's a bit strange. That we did change it at half, uh, at halfway, and there wasn't too much on it. There's a little bit, so there's probably um, a cow and dad too that might have a little bit of mastitis. Um, yeah, very strange how it's so dirty yesterday and, and cleaner today. So um, we'll just have to keep an eye on things and, and go from there, really. Uh, but cheers for watching. Until next time, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Awesome. Bye.